Alfred Holt & Company, trading as Blue Funnel Line, was a UK shipping company that was founded in 1866 and operated merchant ships for 122 years. It was one of the UK's larger shipowning and operating companies, and as such had a significant role in the country's overseas trade and in the First and Second World Wars. Its seafarers later went to fill various roles in the British maritime shore-based establishment, including Malcolm MacLachlan, a lecturer in Glasgow and a popular author of books on maritime business. History Alfred Holt founded the business on 16 January 1866. The main operating subsidiary was the Ocean Steamship Company, which owned and operated the majority of the company's vessels. A Dutch subsidiary, the Nederlandsche Stoomvaart Machapige Oceaan, was founded in 1891, as was the East India Ocean Steamship Company, operated from Singapore. This latter was sold in 1899 to Norddeutsche Lloyd. The company acquired the competing China Mutual Steam Navigation Company in 1902, keeping it as a subsidiary company but operating it as part of Blue Funnel Line. Ships of the Blue Funnel fleet all had names from classical Greek legend or history. The majority were cargo ships, but most of the Ocean SS Co cargo ships also had capacity for a few passengers. The line also had a small number of purely passenger vessels. Nesta, launched 7 December 1912, and Ulysses, launched 5 July 1913, are examples of large cargo, passenger vessels entering the line's service at the time. Both ships were built in Belfast by Workman, Clark and Company with a length of 580 feet and 14,500 gross tons. Passenger accommodations were for first class only and seven cargo holds, one and a tween deck space fitted for refrigerated meat, dairy, and fruit cargoes, provided accommodation of the largest consignments. In the 1920s, Blue Funnel became the first British shipping company to employ a woman marine engineer. Victoria Drummond served with the company three times, firstly as 10th engineer on the liner Ancasas 1922–24, then as refrigeration engineer on the refrigerated cargo ship Perseus in 1943 and finally as resident engineer at Caledon Shipbuilding in Dundee supervising the completion of Rexena and Stenter in 1946. These were two of the first new ships built for Blue Funnel to replace its Second World War losses. Post-World Wars Blue Funnel lost 16 ships in the First World War and 30 in the Second. After each war it restored its fleet with new ships. After the Second War it regained tonnage rapidly by buying six victory ships from the United States Maritime Commission in 1946 and 8. Sam. Ships from the Ministry of War Transport in 1947, two Blue Funnel ships, MS Agapena and MS Melampus were trapped by the Six-Day War of 1967 and became part of the Yellow Fleet in the Great Bitter Lake, remaining there until 1975. <laughs> Closure in 1988 From 1947 to 1970, as Britain's empire began to shrink, so did its trade. Meanwhile, companies from other parts of the world began to operate more competitively. Cabotage regulations prevented British flag companies from trading on routes that were previously their monopolies. These factors resulted in Blue Funnel's fleet to shrink. The company finally came to an end in 1988 when Ocean Group withdrew from the Barber Blue Sea Service, its last shipping line. The Merseyside Maritime Museum Archive and Library holds the company archive. Topic references and sources References Sources Drummond, Cherry. 1994. The Remarkable Life of Victoria Drummond, Marine Engineer. London, Institute of Marine Engineers. ISBN 0-907206-54-9
Talbot Booth, E.C. 1942, 1936. Ships and the Sea, Seventh Ed. London: Sampson Low, Marston and Co. Limited. pp. 486 to 487. Bookscook, Ian. 2010. Those in Peril: A Blue Funnel Story, a 56-year love affair with ships. Christchurch, NZ: Wilson Scott Publishing. ISBN 9781877472. Hodgson, Ian. 1990. The Blue Funnel Legend: A History of the Ocean Steamship Company, 1865 to 1973. London: Macmillan. ISBN 9780333521. Hodgson, Ian. 1983. Red-duster.co.uk. Kbolton.beatinternet.co.uk. Theshipslist.com